On today's menu, K-Reach. As we all know, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's find out how it tastes. I will discuss K-Reach today with two Korean chefs, Jin Cho from Camtopia and uh, Sai Kim from Kim and Chang. Welcome. We all expect MOE to announce today uh, approximately 500 substances up for registration. I also know they work extremely hard in finalizing the lower degrees. Um, can you share with us what you expect from these lower degrees? Well, as far as the uh, specific content, uh, I'm afraid that we, we don't have that much that we can share at this moment. But the good news is that uh, we, won't, we shouldn't have to wait much longer for the, them to be released because they should be released. The ministerial decree and the presidential decree should be released in the next couple of, day, couple of weeks. And so uh, we know that the MOE has been working with the task force, with industry players and experts, and um, their feedback uh, should hopefully be re reflected in these uh, decrees when they're announced. Jean, are they taking into account the results from the first and second pilot project? The, the second pilot project in progress right now is about the you know, seven substance you know, uh, for uh, the joint submission. Now it's in under you know, pro uh, progress, but um, you know, I don't think you know, it, uh, the result or the, you know, the, the situation will be applied for the you know, final decree. But thing is like you know at least you know industry will know you know how to compile with the, you know the carriage especially for like you know joint submission, uh, so they will learn some of the lesson you know how to you know the prepare the you know carriage uh, actual start. What are some of the main challenges posed to industry by K reach? Well, uh, I can say like you know the timing because you know the law decree will release you know the. And soon, uh, within a few, soon, yeah. Yeah, hopefully soon, yeah, yeah, as I mentioned. But thing is, you know, the actual practical guidance, you know, uh, has not prepared yet. Even though they do have some pilot project to make the you know guidance, but still, it's on the progress. So the the big confusion, uh, uh, I'm expecting that there will be a big confusion between the you know industry. But the um, but uh, the company, the only thing I can recommend uh, recommend the you know, industry, they can uh, listen to you know the what the, you know uh, like the final decree of the you know the carriage and also like you know some public announcement from the government. Sai, and how about legal challenges? As with European reach, uh, there are very, um, very real concerns dealing with uh, fair trade laws and also with uh, confidential business information. And um, you know, uh, a lot of the issues will be the same, except now you have Korean law applying instead of European laws. I think that it's worthwhile for uh, all the regulatory specialists to uh, know uh, and to understand a little bit better so that they can uh, work with their in-house counsel when they uh, uh, deal with these issues. Is resources also one of the challenges they face? I can say you know both of them. You know the the first one is resources, as you mentioned, that um, they do not have the enough you know, resources. For example, as I mentioned earlier, the the you know the practical guidance, uh, unlike the EU reach, uh, the carriage you know uh, still you know they do uh, the government did not uh, do not you know publish the you know, final decree, but um, you know but uh, in case of the EU reach, uh, the when the EU reach start, you know the the. E reach uh, comes with uh, you know the uh, practical guidance, but the Korean reach is it's not the same like that. So that the you know actual industry they do not know you know how to compile the K reach, even though they they kind of know you know the how it goes uh, it goes to, but you know they don't know actual you know the action they have to behave. Yeah, that's the you know one major you know suffer from the you know industry. Will the IT system be up and running as of January two thousand fifteen? There will be an IT system up and running, but it will not be complete. And as far as how complete it will have and what functionalities it will have and will be missing, that is, um, uh, that is an unknown. I, I know that they're trying to have a fully functional one as soon as possible next year, hopefully within the first, first half of the year, but um, that remains to be seen. And are they also using the iEuclid system for that? They will not be using the iEuclid. Um, I, I think they're going to try to uh, try their best to make it as painless as possible because it, we know, uh, they know that it's a big concern. What advice do you have for industry in their preparation for K-REACH? The only thing I can say 
right now is you know uh, the industry should listen to the voice from the you know the government and um, you know the uh, as I mentioned uh, before uh, the actual you know the practical guidance will release soon so uh, once they release the things and they will put on the you know the public notice so the industry industries should listen to the you know the, those you know public you know notice and also some like you know the gui uh, guidance once the decrees and the um guidances and the notices come out, I'm sure a lot of the questions that uh, we're waiting on will be answered, but I'm sure some questions will remain, I'm, so, I'm sure new questions will arise. And if some questions remain which are very important to uh, your specific company, um, we do recommend trying to obtain an official notice from the MOE on that question. Do you expect that similar to EU reach, consortia will be formed? Well, the the EU, uh, I mean, the, the carriage uh, try to you know the cup with the um, you know uh, the EU reach, but it's not hundred percent the same with the EU reach. So that um, you know, um, so that's why the government you know, launched the you know, pilot project with uh, you know seven subsets for the joint submission. But the um, still uh, the industry industries do not know how to you know to follow that you know the. The joint submission. I do believe that there are some uh, consortia that are very interested in coming in, although, um, uh, and they're may maybe planning, making plans. And you know. will it be easy for industry to reuse EU data? Again, they are trying their best to make it easy. So I, I believe that they will be uh, be accepting uh, test data uh, in English. No translation will be requ required. Mm -hmm. uh, things like that. I think that they were there. The government is uh, listening to industry um, and they're trying to make it as painless as possible. Do you think that local SMEs can afford this? Well the local SMEs are a, a big concern for the government because they are, uh, they do not have the same resources, they do not have the same expertise and the, um, uh, the experience from EU reach and so they are actually uh, further behind in pre preparing to transition to K-Reach than the uh, the multinational companies who have K reach or European reach experience. So I think that the government will try, um, take, try to take that into account and help them as much as possible, but they will be uh, challenged resource-wise. Can we expect a English translation of uh, K reach and its lower degrees? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Only the, you know, the private company will translate the, you know, the English version and uh, to sell or like release the thing. But the government, I don't think you know, they do have a plan to release the, you know, the English version. Despite the fact that I cannot read the final menu yet, I'm very curious how it will look like. Um, I'm sure we'll learn more about that at Chemcon Asia 2015 in Hong Kong. Uh, for now, Jean and Sai, thank you very much for your contribution.